This is Josh from Rhinolites. I wanted to uh, review our Connect Pro board in a little more detail. Um, now that we got our switch panel up, um, we can kind of show you the switch panel functioning with our Connect Pro board. Uh, there's a lot of functionality in this thing, so I kind of just want to go over the basics so you have a, a clear understanding. Um, one of the most unique things about this board is there's actually five output channels, and each of those channels allow for different functionality. So we'll start the basics, which is turn signal. As you see, we actually have a front channel and the rear channel is blinking. Um, and then we actually tie in rock lights that can blink as well. But with that, we actually have um, four rock lights that are on the pass-through channel that are not getting affected by the turn signal system. But then we can also initiate, say, reverse, and the reverse affects the rear channels, uh, but it does not override the uh, blinking for the front channel. And then we can also initiate the brake system, uh, but the braking does not override the blinking, uh, which is uh, something that you know has been pointed out in a, a big request, because uh, that happens on some other systems. Um, and then you can turn it off, and then it'll go back doing what it's doing before. The other thing we have going on here is on the panel, we actually have some penny lights, as you've been seeing, and they'll actually have been blinking. Well, this is getting controlled from our board on the relay system. Now, this is actually wired directly, but that's not recommended. It's just a penny light to show example. Um, these should trigger relays, which then will trigger whatever uh, hardware you want to trigger. So like a chase bar or other lights on your system. So again, tie these into relays to your system because this can only handle about three amps if we don't want to blow the board up. All right, so if we actually turn off the turn signal, uh, we have now moved to the Patriot mode. So if we initiate Patriot mode, um, there's actually uh, quite a few patterns in here and you can actually go through and cycle the patterns. This is one of our bouncing ball patterns. Um, this is actually a uh, red, white, and green, which is like Italy and Mexico. And we actually can circle back around to red, white, and blue patterns. Uh, so that is uh, Patriot mode. and it will remember what pattern you stopped on and you can turn it back on and it'll go back to that same pattern. Um, we actually have strobe mode and there's like six different strobe modes in here and this will just uh, strobe whatever's coming from the actual controller. And so if we were to go to the controller and actually select different colors, it actually strobes that as well. But then it also strobe patterns if you do initiate patterns. So, and then with that, if we activate strobe and Patriot mode, uh, we get in what's called SOS mode. And SOS mode is, I think, about eight or 10 different color combinations, and it actually flashes back and forth from the left and right channel, and then the pass-through channel just blinks back and forth through the two different colors. Uh, but again, there is several different colors, as you saw an amber white, a red blue. So we have quite a bit of different color combinations in here. Um, but that is SOS mode, and that's initiated by Patriot and strobe mode triggers. Uh, and then one of the other features we have on this board is street only mode. If you activate street only mode, it goes what we call black or dark, and it doesn't uh, allow the colors to come through on the controller, but turn signal, brake, and reverse functionality still works. And so the reason we call it street only mode is because in a lot of states, if you ride on the road with colors, you'll get pulled over. So this is something we did. So it allows for just kind of quick interaction. If you hop off back on a private street, you can turn it on, have on a public road, you can turn it off. And it's a pretty quick little feature there. And then what I want to go into is the uh, channels. And as I said earlier, there's actually five output channels. Um, and so we have a pass through channel. That channel does not get affected by turn signal, brake or reverse but it does get affected by the custom patterns on the board. Then we have left and right blink, which are normally tied to your front halos, and that only gets affected by the blinking. Um, if you hit brakes or reverse, uh, it doesn't affect that at all. So as you see, I hit the brakes and the blink channels are not affected whatsoever, and same with reverse. Um, and then you have the left and right all channels, which most likely is tied to the, your whips. And that does get affected by turn signal brake reverse, as you've been seeing throughout the video.
and you have the ability, um, like you see on the board, you can tie your whip lights, LED strips to any of these channels, kind of build any kind of kit you want. Um, this board is able to be tied into a third party uh, turn signal system like a Corb or an XTC. Um, all you have to do is come over to the blue trigger wire, which is labeled blink, and actually put 12 volts on this, constant 12 volts when the system is on, and it'll actually disable the internal flashing and allow you to uh, sync it with your uh, other external flashing kit. Um, so if you install it on a Jeep or vehicle, truck, whatever, uh, you can actually use this on that vehicle as well. And just to reiterate, uh, you do not need a third party turn signal kit with this. Um, you can use the onboard flashing, but if you do, you do have that ability to tie it in. Uh, and again, if you have any other questions, please give us a call, email us, and we'll be happy to kind of customize this board to your needs and build you your awesome lighting kit.